Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you my very first Hobonichi unboxing for the year of 2023. So if you're interested in seeing some of the items that I picked up for my friends and family as well as myself for my 2023 planner system setup, please stick around. Thanks everyone! So before we get right into the unboxing, I just want to warn that I purchased so much this year from the 1101 site straight from Japan that I have three of these boxes lined up. And if you stick around to the end, I actually also plan on sharing the uh, cover for my Hobonichi Weeks that I've selected for this year. And then I just wanted to give you a sneak peek to some of my next videos, which will include an unboxing of my Archer and Olive um, is this is September 2022 uh, quarterly subscription box. My apologies. It's very interesting. It was packaged completely different than it has been in the past. And from what I've seen online, this one is one you don't want to miss. So um, if you're not already, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, please remember to let me know by giving it a thumbs up. All right, let's get right into the unboxing. So I think because I had so many of these boxes, they actually came in a larger box, which is great because it doesn't have my address on this. Um, but this is my very first time, as I mentioned, ordering from Hobonichi, so I'm very excited. I believe there are some items that come as freebies when you order directly from them as opposed to Amazon. But what I will try to do is to link as much of these supplies that I can find on Amazon in the description box down below if you're interested in getting it for yourself. I honestly think I might end up ordering some additional supplies from Amazon just because it's a lot easier than going through the Japanese site um, but anyways it's okay if it were a lie or a joke trying to say I had something good today too and then close your eyes something as good as a tiny stone is rolling here and there more often than you think very cute and so I will warn too that this year I um, I purchased mostly the English versions. I think they actually expanded the collection, which is fantastic. Carly, if you're watching this video, definitely skip to the next one because there are some items in here for you. All right, so I am not gonna open this up. Okay, maybe I'll open it up. This is a five-year journal. I think I purchased two of these. Um, so you'll, ooh, and I was actually going to purchase, an, anyway. So I bought this, one for my friend and one for I. <laughs> because she is actually pregnant and having her first child and I wanted her to have a journal where she can very, I don't have that excuse, so I don't know what mine is for, <laughs> but I'm very happy for her. She's having a little boy and I wanted her to have a space where she can journal and track um, his progress and what it's like to be a mother and honestly, whatever she feels like using it for. I love that this was so beautifully aesthetic. I really think that this matches in a, in a way, kind of uh, combines our two different styles into one. So we'll be twinsies. And this is just something we typically do. Um, so this covers 2023 through 2027. I just thought it was perfect timing. It comes with this beautiful, almost linen finish with embroidery of birds and florals. Oh, and it comes with a writing board. I did not know that. And a tassel here and also a pen loop, which looks rather tiny for um, any normal pen. <laughs> you know what? Maybe you just uh, stick in something else. Ooh, okay. So this is what it will look like on the interior. Um, I think that because this one is mine, it will be okay. Oh, look, and a sample here. The paper definitely, f mm, does it feel different? Maybe it is the same. I heard someone say that they're not switching the paper into the following year, so we shall see. This is so cute. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, this is actually Japanese. I don't think it came in an English version. I love how it has very, it's like a soft cover. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to try to speed through these just because um, I bought lots of things. And uh, I'm actually filming this video before I start work. <laughs> so I apologize for the shoddy lighting and my raspy voice. <laughs> what else we have i think they loaded this one up oh my goodness with a lot of the freebies that came with my order so as you can see i bought a lot of hobonichi planners because i got four of these beautiful 2023 drawstring bags and one two three four five of these 
um, like, are they Jetstream? No, but they remind me, yeah, they are. They're Uni Jetstream um, tri colored pens. I don't know what point it is. And actually, let me just open one up here so I can show you. You probably see these in all of the other Obaniji unboxing videos. I apologize for hopefully not wasting your time here. It says, oh, it says Hobonichi Techo uh, 2023. It's pretty fine tipped. I wouldn't say, if I had to guess, I would say it's like a 0.5 or 7. Probably 0.5. But maybe some else around. <laughs> Alrighty. And then my last three. Okay, so I got one of these for my friend and I because we're twinsies. And um, I got it, I think, in camel. It's um, just like a leather clip. Is that what it's called for the Hobonichi weeks? I don't know if it's specifically for the weeks. But um, let me not open hers. I <laughs> set hers aside. And uh, yeah, I thought that it went really well with our aesthetic and the planners that we have lined up for this year. So, and then uh, lastly from this box, I got this little st very simple stamp here where it says item, amount, and total um, because I want to do better at spending less. Obviously, not doing a great job this year. <laughs> so, that is one thing that I bought. I love how easy it is to open these boxes. Um, I didn't have to struggle at all, which surprisingly is really hard to find. Okay, I actually forgot what I ordered. <laughs> so this is two of three boxes and um, kind of a surprise to me just because it's been so long. I actually ordered this on the 1st of September, but because I've been traveling basically everywhere, uh, if you've been watching my videos, thank you so much, but I went from New York to DC, from DC to New York, to Berlin, to Paris, and now back in New York and then Pennsylvania. So I'm kind of all over the place. I don't remember what I ordered. I was buying supplies for my new temporary position, like clothing. I had to buy clothes for Europe and it was just a mess carry-ons so I bought this Hobonichi Weeks cover I plan to use this specifically for work I thought it was very professional and affordable um, it looks like I can just slip this in here and when I go to meetings uh, because I do work in the field I can throw my Hobonichi Weeks in here with a pen and maybe even like a credit card just in case I have to go to a meeting and basically anything that I need in here I love that it says Hobonichi I don't this is a very tiny supposed to be this tiny um, zipper pull here <laughs> um, but this is really cute I like I said I thought it was professional and it would definitely be a good use for work okay. and then over here we have so many things I'm gonna set this aside and open up so we'll start off with this here the notebooks so I got this notebook here. I believe this is the A5 size. I think I also got the A6 size, so I thought I would have a set. This was something I actually purchased for my friend and loved it so much that I wanted to get one for myself. So let's open it up so you guys can see it. I actually don't need it right now, but I want you guys to see what it looks like on the inside. I fell in love with the design. It's so whimsical. And this is definitely something that you can get on Amazon. Uh, that's where I first got it. But look at these pages. They're um, like a gridded page and they come in two colors, I think. It's like red up here and then you go to the back and it's a little bit blue. Oh, four colors, three colors. There's purple back here and maybe a, oh, and like a greenish color. So multiple colors, maybe for like chapters. Absolutely love it. So here we have uh, two English A6 Techo planners for 2023. Um, one of them I'm going to set aside because it's actually for my husband. Um, I am so proud to say that I have uh, convinced my husband not only to start bullet journaling, but also planning in his Hobonichi planner. So if you've been watching my videos, I started off the year with four Hobonichi planners and was really sad that I hadn't given my A6 English Tetro um, enough love so i actually passed it off to my husband who absolutely adored it and um in his manly way of not wanting to tell me um but anyways he's been using it very much for work as well as um, his leadership program and real estate 
So I asked him if he wanted to switch to the Hobonichi Weeks this year, and he very passionately said no because he loves his A6. So that is why I have two. Um, I don't, I guess I could open mine to give you guys a better idea of what I have and what it looks like if you're not familiar. I can't just assume that we all are familiar. I will say, surprisingly, I'll break the news, I did not get a Hobonichi Cousin for 2023, which I've been mildly regretting since the moment I pushed um, the uh, order button. <laughs> but yes, this is what the English looks like. It's monotoned or dual toned where it's red and black. It has English quotes down here. And um, yeah, it's Monday through Sunday, if you didn't already know. It does not have a weekly spread, just dailies. And I say that because last year I did not know that. And that is part of the reason why I did not use my A6 planner. So I'm planning on replacing my A5 cousin with the A6 because I found that 2022 I didn't use all of the space that I had in my um in my Hobonichi cousin and it was actually quite cumbersome to have to travel with it because as you add to it, it got quite large. Um, so that is why I plan on reusing my old 2022 cover so I did not get a cover for my A6 planner. My husband too did not want a cover. Okay, so I loaded up <laughs> with lots of the things this year because, yes, just because. <laughs> So I've got both the A5 and the A6 size folders because I didn't know which one I wanted. I think it's the same, it's similar? No, they're different designs. This one, the A5 comes with two, the A6 comes with three and has a little kitty and a donkey, uh, as well as, I guess, this duck. <laughs> so very excited. I thought this would be a great way to store my, um, my stickers. So I bought a bunch of Midori stickers for my planners that I plan to put in there, as well as the sticky club. I bought three, is it three, four? <laughs> four of these Hobonichi basic stencils, because if you watch my videos, this is basically the only one that I use. Um, so I got one for my friend Carly, one for my husband, and I guess two for myself. I don't know, because <laughs> when I lose it, I have a pan mild panic attack, because I can't do anything in my Hobonichi weeks without that. And then I bought three um, pencil boards or writing boards from Hobonichi in the weeks uh, so that I could give one to my friend as well. And then honestly, because I use it so often, I find that like it gets all scratched up. So it's just nice to get a refresh for this new year. So this one's pretty important um, because I'm going to set this one aside for my husband. I bought two of these for myself actually this year and the reason being is because I I need one of these for work and I'll show you. So this is a supplement for the A6 size planners and so I got it because it has the weekly spread here almost like the Hobonichi Cousin. So I plan on pairing this not only uh, with the A6 but also with my Hobonichi weeks because in my Hobonichi weeks for work, what I was doing every week was setting something up like this in this orientation on the right side of my Hobonichi weeks spreads so that I can track my meetings. So I figured if I add this to my Hobonichi weeks for work uh, setup that I don't have to go through that um, process and then I can use the layout already with the uh, timestamps and everything to track my meetings and the priorities that I have for the day, etc. So that's the plan, um, and it's actually a little smaller, so cute, which I think is perfect for the Hobonichi Weeks. All right, so time to reveal the Hobonichi Weeks for 2023. So, apologize for this very long video. It is very exciting, but I bought too many things. So this is for my friend Carly. Ooh, I almost forgot an item here. And here we go. So, oopsies. Okay, so I also got this clear cover. As you can see here, I absolutely love them, but they do not last me a year, so just FYI, <laughs> if you're as destructive as me. I got the A6 size of this notebook, as I had mentioned. And these are our 
Kobonichi Weeks for 2023. So if you can guess which one is mine or which two are mine. So this one here is the one that my friend Carly um, selected with January start. It's in the English version, Monday start. I will not be opening it because it is not mine. So I'm going to set this aside. It's super cute. If you can see here, it says 2023 in like a silver foil. And it has a little elephant on there with a biscuit and a shoe and a plate. Super cute. Definitely her aesthetic. Um, yeah, I wish I bought her all the accessories. I didn't. And that's really sad. So maybe I'll have to do that on <laughs> set. All right. So my setup for 2023 consists of the A6 English. So just to recap, this guy here. I also got these in English, as you can see here. They're all January start um, to December 2023. And so the Mega Sneaker English Edition is going to be... See? The Mega Dark Navy January start weeks mega this bad boy is going to be my work planner um in 2022 i started a new job and i was like you know do i really oh my goodness this is so cute it actually says like the quotes here oops, i already bent it uh, in english which is going to be so fun and this is what i was mentioning before i usually or had in the past this in 2023 drawn my schedule out from monday through friday in this orientation with Monday through Friday up top and then like the timestamp here on the left. So now I don't have to set that up and I can use this for note taking. This has significantly more notes pages. So this is at 219, I believe, is it? Ooh, maybe not. 218? No. Nope, 219, yes. <laughs> Same as last year, notes pages. Um, it looks kind of thick compared to the regular weeks, but it's actually not too bad. It's a soft cover, and I apologize for my very hot hands. <laughs> it comes with these little tabbies. And then this one, I will be honest, there was no Hobonichi weeks this year that really spoke to me, that just drew my attention and or was like, Katie, you need this. Uh, this is the artist. I'm not gonna attempt to try to say it. It's a hardcover. It's white, so I'm a little worried for 2023. I picked this one because I love nature. <laughs> and uh, that seems kind of silly, but I absolutely do love nature. And so this one was the one that spoke to me the most. I thought it actually complemented my friends very well. I think it's probably the same artist. Um, so I thought it was cute for us to have complimentary Hobonichi weeks. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, oops. <laughs> couple more items just hang in there but yeah so it's same thing same deal English um, kind of monotoned I do oh it comes with a little corner here oh and a little card about the artist too um, which is very very cute I'll probably keep it with the planner can't wait to decorate it it's very um, blank space for me can't wait to get a, get into these I will probably do setup videos in the near future if you're interested in seeing that all right so last two items set these aside and work through those so oh my goodness i have been dying to get this and my goodness i did not realize how tiny this little pouch was i've seen it maybe once or twice before on youtube not very common um look how tiny this guy is i don't know if i can fit the weeks i could probably fit the weeks if i wanted to anyways very tiny perfect for a6 maybe for the five-year journal um but also for the five-year i don't know if i want to put it i'll probably put it in here that's a really good idea um so i don't know what this is a flap to cover it oh my goodness yeah so i'm a little lost if you guys know what this is let me know it has this little loop here pocket outside and two here i think it's definitely uh minimal i will say i feel like i'm missing writing boards for the a6 because i feel like i definitely ordered those one thing that i will probably have to get from amazon <laughs> are some writing boards for the a6 size all right so last but not least as promised i am going to share with you all the 2023 hobonichi weeks cover that i purchased hello <laughs> so i did not get my order in in time and I wanted this tweed cover for all of 2022 and it was a different tone. I didn't get it. 
So I frantically went on to Amazon and found a few left in the same price. So I freaking snapped it up, snagged it up <laughs> when I had the opportunity. And so here we are. This is the one I got. <clears throat> and I believe it's called the Tweed. And so that's a little trick, I think, <laughs> to finding the things that you want. If you can't find it on the Hobonichi site, try Amazon. Uh, so this came relatively quickly and I'm very excited. I like the texture. I've survived all of 2022 without a cover, so did I really need one? Probably not. But I thought that, um, you know, it'd be a lot of fun and something that I can reuse in the following year. Anyways, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today. As always, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, bye everyone!